The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to the final show of the week. And as a reward for staying with us for five days, you're going to get a day off on Monday. So be sure to remember that we're going to be closed for President's Day. All right, let's take a quick look here at the DAX like we always do. And we'll see if uh, we can see any patterns. And as you can see on this uh, half-hour chart, you see uh, some really nice patterns forming. And if we move down to even the smaller time frame, which is the 30-minute chart, you'll see two really nice ABCD patterns that have completed here. Uh, and this was also a 135 pattern. It was set up you know, just about perfectly. You can see the down sloping uh, trend line and that dotted line there. Uh, it just, you know, it just couldn't be any better than that, and it's made its first objective. That objective, the same pattern exists, of course, in the E-mini S&P, and I believe the objective on that is at uh, tw uh, 20, is it 29, 27, 20, oh, no, 23, uh, 23.34, I believe, is the, uh, 23.32 is the uh, price objective of this particular pattern as it relates to the E-mini S&P, and they, they are basically identical. I mean, it's just... Uh, can't get any closer than that. It's about 100% correlation. So watch that uh, relatively. Uh, this is the first really good ABC correction we had in over a week because we've had so many days up. Yesterday was nine days up in the NASDAQ. And um, whether it's going to mean very much or not, you know, I don't know. Now, I've got some information from uh, uh, our good friend Stan Harley of Harley Stock Market Cycles. I'd uh, just like to show you what he's looking at and some of his things in his letter. Uh, he, he, you know, he breaks the market down into levels, and what he's showing you here is that we're at the eighth level in the uh, – <laughs> you're right, the DAX does move or it rules. He owns the DAX, owns the rules. But you can see the uh, Dow Jones here, uh, and that shows the different levels that occur. You know, some of them hit, you know, just absolutely perfectly – and then others, you know, don't, but uh, this one was at the eighth level, and he figures that it was a very, very uh, important spot, you know, to be watching. Uh, another one that he's brought to our attention is the fact of uh, where we are in the uh, Schiller, uh, Case Schiller uh, Home Cycle Index, and I wanted to bring that to your attention to uh, take a look at it. Stan does such a really great work. I've known him for the last 40 years. And, uh, you know, he really does some really fabulous work, and he's an expert, of course, in the Fibonacci stuff that uh, we all learned at the same time way back at uh, the old Clayton brokerage firm in uh, West Los Angeles that later became the uh, McCulloch Oil Building, the offices of Conti Commodities. Uh, when I first started trading in that office at Clayton Commodities, in the, uh, it was in the Howard Hughes Building right there at the corner of Wilshire and uh, Westwood Boulevard. And, of course, this is where Howard Hughes' office was. It was the tallest building in L.A. at the time. It was only about 25 stories. And uh, it had a helicopter pad on top. And when he did come in, which was very rare, uh, you could hear the helicopter come in and all kind of security would be all over the building. And, of course, he never left the penthouse. He was always in that same area. I never did, uh, never did see the man, but that's the helicopter pad that they brought John Wayne in. Uh, when he was uh, on his last a few hours of his life, they brought him in from Orange County, and we were in the McCulloch Oil Building on the 20th floor uh, looking, and it, for some reason the 20th floor of the McCulloch Oil Building was higher than the 25th floor of, uh, of the Clayton Building, so you could actually, or uh, of the Hughes Building, but you could actually see the helicopter pad and the paramedics, you know, taking John Wayne out. Everybody in the news was talking about it, so... That was one of the things that I remember uh, quite a bit. There were a whole bunch of other things I remember, but that was one of the more 
important ones. Anyway, when you look at this case Schiller index, you'll see that uh, we are below the highs that we were back in 2006. Whether that means anything or not, I'm not sure. What I would like for you to uh, talk uh, to, to look about here is the fact that on the next one we're going to watch here uh, that we want to see is uh, I'll let you read this, but he's looking for a Stan is looking for a high on the on the 22nd. Well, you're you're talking about the early next week, so we'll just take a look at what he has to do here, and I'll let you folks. Uh, uh, fact is, I probably ought to read it to you. He says, Stan says we tend to make what I refer to as a trading cycle highs at roughly 39.8 trading days. Rarely do the high occurs at precise 40-day trading intervals. The cycle, like market cycle, expands and contracts over time, but the average is right at 39.8 days. The February 2nd, 22nd time period looks pretty ripe for a 39.8 trading day cycle high. Following a deep deep into early March, I then look for a follow-through move into April 5th time cycle, which is a 34-week primary cycle, which should be the high of the market for uh, quite some time. Now, that is Stan Harley of uh, Stan Harley Stock Market uh, uh, Cycles. Another, you know, I know you're talking about Howard Hughes in there, that book, The Aviator, or the uh, movie The Aviator with um, Leonardo DiCaprio was uh, pretty good of what, uh, you know, I, I knew some people that knew Howard Hughes, but they just knew him. I mean, they weren't friends. But he was really a recluse, folks. He didn't, uh, he didn't let hardly anybody you know, get into his inner circle unless you're about 22 years old and uh, of the female variety. But uh, he was he was quite uh, very, very, he was the most powerful man. Uh, it, well, no, the most powerful man in California was Walt, Walter Annenberg. He's the one that got President uh, Reagan elected. He was the most powerful man. He was actually some of the big brains behind uh, Howard Hughes. But Hughes really did so much. I mean, he was really a brilliant guy. I mean, he, he really, if you ever get to, to Long Beach, California, to see the gray goose, you ought to really take a look at it. It's it's really an incredible uh, uh, ship made out of wood, and uh, it's really uh, really something to take a look at. Okay, um, yes, Hughes Aircraft was in Tucson, Arizona. They still have a memorial there to that, and uh, he had a home there and everything. So we'll see see how that works out uh, over a, a longer period of time. Okay, let's talk about the GOLD. It's really trying to do its thing, but, boy, is it giving everybody trouble. What we're looking to do now is uh, we, we looked at this bottom where we had this ABCD structure down here. When we got down to that 20, uh, 1220 level, uh, we, uh, we had a pretty good rally. We've now exceeded 1245. We went to 1245.20 and didn't go anywhere. That's not a good sign, folks. We should have popped through there with a whole lot of gusto, and silver is not falling along either, so I don't think this is going to break out on Friday, but that's just my opinion, and, you know, opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually smells, so uh, keep in mind that it's just an opinion, but I'm very bullish gold. What we've done is moved our stop uh, is to uh, the 12, uh, 1236 level, and we'll keep an eye on that. One other thing that's interesting He's one of the best market letter writers in this business is the Wellington Letter by Bert Bowman. Uh, he's out of Los Angeles, California. He formerly lived in Hawaii. I've known Bert for 40 years. He's one of the best TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed Taz has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a quick look here at copper. Uh, it's the same similar, similar situation like we have in gold. Uh, if you notice on this copper chart, the two most important things is the fact you'll see the a long-term trend line coming back from the lows that it made uh, last year, stopping exactly at the 382 level at 245 a pound. And then it's had this ABCD structure um, with another 382 retracement just uh, about a week or so ago. And notice that the breakout, when the breakout occurred, it stopped right at a perfect ABCD pattern, uh, almost exactly at the 1.27 at the 282 uh, per pound level, and then it reversed. It had that big, wide-ranging bar when it went from 264 to 278, 14 cents, in a matter of a, a day. And yet, when it got up there, it just hung there for two days uh, at the top of that butterfly. And, boy, that, that's a very scary sign. And now we backed off over 10 cents a pound, and it basically looks like a failed breakout uh, to the upside is what it looks like in the copper. Now, a copper has a great deal of Chinese interest. Believe me, they are the, probably the largest uh, consumers of uh, copper. I don't know that for a fact. I'm just saying that it, uh, that's just my opinion. But, but that's what's happened to the copper market. That's why on this gold market we really need to break out and it needs to keep running. That's uh, the main thing that you'd like to see. Frankly, I don't think it's going to do it today. It's had a chance and we've already backed off uh, almost $4 uh, from the high, you know, so keep a, sort of keep a close eye on that. Also on the Treasury bond, folks, keep an eye at the 152 level. We've been to 151.31. The 152.01 is the 61% retracement off the high we made uh, up there a few weeks ago when we were trading about, uh, or about 10 days ago, we were trading at the 141 level. So watch that one. That's a very interesting one to uh, to see. So that's basically it. Okay, someone's asked a question. Am I still bullish on gold? Yes, I am very bullish on gold. All I've done is I've raised my stop up to the uh, 1236 level because uh, the fact that it had a chance to break out, and we could see another 17 or even $34 correction from here, and I don't want to set through that. Uh, and, and Silver, who's you know been the leader, has not acted. Uh, acting as well as uh, 
you know, as, as well, I would expect. If silver were really strong, I'd feel much better about it. But in fact, it's not, uh, it's not really doing that. Um, we had one other question this morning about the, the euro. Uh, as you know, we were bullish the euro of that pattern we had uh, uh, earlier uh, this week. Uh, actually, two days ago, we've had a you know good run there. It hasn't given hardly any of it back. It can't even make a 382 uh, retracement uh, to the uh, downside, and that's pretty much uh, you know what you're what you're looking for. If, if you're if you're looking for a place to buy the euro, here's what I would here's what I would suggest is to you know go back and look over the last uh, three or four days and find your highest low, uh, lowest low and your highest high. And then draw in your Fibonacci retracements and look for the euro somewhere around the 106.22 level. If it gets to that level, you know, you can buy it at a 382 retracement and not risk more than just about 30 pips. You could actually risk probably less than that because if it hits 382, it shouldn't get much more than a tick or two below it if it's a really good pattern. So that's uh, the main thing of, uh, you know, what you want to try to uh what you might what what you might try to do. So keep that in mind as you you know, prepare for your trading. Okay, now we do have a long weekend, so there's probably going to be a lot of things uh, ha happening over the weekend. But the how how much it's going to be and what it's going to be, you know, remains to be seen. We're still in the midst of uh, chopping around here in stocks. They certainly haven't sold off very much. I mean, it's basically nothing. Uh, the Goldman Sachs. Uh, one of the things that we were wanting to see in Goldman Sachs was that to get to the uh, 253 level, we were only able to get it up to uh, 252. Now, is that a dollar is going to be close enough to make this ABCD pattern perfect? Uh, that is the question that will be answered by the gods, and uh, she's taking the day off on Monday too, so we'll let the market uh, try to tell us. But I think if we get below uh, 245, in the Goldman Sachs, that would most probably tell us that it's not going to make that final point uh, up there, considering all the bullish enthusiasm that we had this week. I mean, my goodness, we had a you know tremendous Monday, Tuesday uh, moves. Uh, Wednesday uh, was a little bit, and then Thursday was you know basically nothing. So these are the things that uh, tell us that we've got uh, you know see what's going on. So anyway, we'll see uh, what's happening with this. And we'll uh, we'll look to see what's going on at that level. Yes, that's the reasoning in the gold market is the fact that we did have this uh, look like a good like a good move to the upside, but in fact, it really didn't. So just keep your stops working at the twelve thirty six level, and if it gets hit, we'll look to rebuy it sometime uh, on the next pattern. But this had a and hey, this is still early, man. I mean, we're only what we're. Uh, uh, 30 minutes into the, uh, an hour into the trading day, so this is nothing. This could turn at a dime and uh, still go up. So don't give up hope. It's just that it hasn't done it yet. It certainly had a chance early this morning, but in fact, it uh, it didn't. It like the Chance Brothers, slim and none. It just didn't prepare uh, itself the way that it should have, at least from the thing. Now, the, the Treasury bonds hit 151.31, and that's one tick away from the uh, good number. And frankly, uh, since we're down, uh, what, 12, 13 pips already from that level, we probably missed that one because it's uh, very, very close. We can still go back and look at it, but watch that number, <clears throat> excuse me, at 152 uh, in the bonds. That's a really nice currently on an hourly chart and uh, has some very good uh, potential with a very, very low risk, very low risk trade. Okay, the next one I'm going to give you a little bit of a of a little bit of a homework to do, folks. If you trade the grains at all, go to your charts and take a look at March soybean oil. I'm not going to say any more about it. Just go and take a look at March soybean oil. I'm going to give you one hint, and that's all I'm going to give you. Just one quick little hint, hopefully. Well, maybe I'm not. What did I do with it? You know, I was wish there a way that I could categorize these things so I wouldn't forget. Well, it's not here, so I'm not going to give you the, well, I will give you the hint. I just can't put it in a chart form. A, B, C, D. But take a look at, take a look at Mark Soybean oil. It looks very, very interesting. It's, uh, you like the words of uh, H.M. Gartley, you know, uh, you'll like that pattern, I believe. So keep an eye on that one for, uh, for this, this week and possibly next week or something, you know, to really, uh, really take a look at. 
Uh, one of the questions that someone's asked me is about the uh, uh, silver market. The silver market is much, much smaller than the gold market, folks. Uh, I think the volume is six times bigger in gold than it is in silver, but it's really amazing. One other, oh, one other thing that looks really interesting about this uh, soybean oil uh, is the fact that open interest has been dropping and prices have been dropping. That means the market is strengthening. So watch it very, very closely. Remember, four out of the five days this week, we had drops in open interest in the uh, Dow Jones uh, Industrial Average and in the NASDAQ, but not in the S&P. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're going to take a quick look here at the uh, E-mini S&P uh, last night. Uh, this was a 15-minute chart going back over the past several days. Uh, this was the first uh, very shortly that we've had uh, to take the high that we made back at 23.51 and a half. We came down 15 handles to 23.36. We rallied up 11 handles right near the 61% retracement. It went up two points above it. And now, <coughs> excuse me, please. You'll notice that the ABCD structure 
on this makes the uh, move uh, down to the uh, 2332 uh, uh, level, which is very close to the low that we had on uh, February uh, the 15th. Um, that was the day that we, uh, you know, blasted off uh, to the upside and, uh, you know, had a huge move. We're up 20, 20 some handles that day, but that would go back and test that level. For the first time in a long time, we're not seeing the market continually breaking out. We've had nine days in a row up to yesterday in the NASDAQ uh, doing it, you know, every day. But now it's starting to go back and it's doing its thing of, you know, chopping around. Because about 80% of the time the market is going back and forth, back and forth, backing and filling. It's only about 10 or 15% of the time that you get these really runaway moves. Uh, either to the upside uh, or to the downside. Those are the ones that are the, the most uh, amazing ones uh, to look at. Yes, there should be some pretty uh, su su pretty substantial resistance up around that uh, uh, 2043 area. Is uh, my yes uh, yes I do know Jack Valenti, but it's it's a different Jack Valenti. Uh, the Jack Valenti in the music business is not the Jack Valenti that I know. The Jack Valenti that I know lives in Pebble Beach on 17 Mile Drive, and he owns a couple of nursing homes and some pharmacies. And he went to pharmacy school in Philadelphia at Temple University, and I met him when I was at Eli Lilly 50 years ago. And Jack and I have been friends for many, many years, and uh, he's a really, really nice guy. This is a, and he's collector. He's, he's a collector of military weapons. Uh, he collects machine guns and Browning automatic pistols. And uh, he has one of the most uh, incredible collections of that stuff uh, in the world. So, but he's a, a really super nice guy. Now, we got to take a smart little break here for one second because I want to uh, see what is beeping. And, okay, that is, hold on one second. It's telling me where we are. A second here. Okay. All right. We want to watch what's going on. Okay, we got uh, the, 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 the if you if you get the S&P back to that 2343 uh, over a period of a half hour or so, if you want to nibble at it from the short side, want to be uh, you know crazy and ruthless, you could probably try that. But the easy thing would be to buy it if it gets down to the 2332 level. Would be uh, would be my uh, opinion on uh, you know what's happening to that. So just keep a just keep a close eye on it. As we uh, as we look at this uh, going through uh, the day here today, and as I mentioned before, I'm sure you all know already that we have had a uh, holiday coming up here on Monday. It's President's Day, and our markets will be closed. They will not be closed in uh, Europe. Forex will be trading normally, and they'll have the Sunday night session and the E mini S and P. I'm sure, and also on Monday for some reason they just keep it open. Is this business, and that's how they make their money. God bless them. Let's take a look at a recap here on the week here. Uh, oh, let's see. Yep, I'm reading about Jack Valenti. Yep, okay, that's the that's the famous Jack Valenti. Actually, he he actually lived up there also, and uh, he was a member. They were both a member of the uh, one of the country. What was the name of that country club? Oh dear, that's Bristol Cathedral. remember the name of the country club there that was so famous that I got those Japanese guys in that day. Anyway, this is the ABCD pattern in the uh, E-mini S&P. Uh, we went right up to the exact price over that uh, three-day period between the 14th and the 16th. Now, whether this is the top or not, folks, I don't know. I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference. Cypress Point, thank you very much. I knew it started with a C. I couldn't remember to save my... Cathedral Springs is a place down in Palm Springs. The um, uh, anyway, the uh, Cypress Point is the name of that is that is a very very exclusive. But folks, let me um, when I was in Los Angeles, there's a place in Los Angeles called the Los Angeles Country Club. I mean, it is so exclusive you just you just can't believe it. You can't even get in there with a suit. The blazer won't do it. But the uh, U.S. Open, I believe, is going to be there this year. So you're going to get the inner cycle. In the inner sanctum of the really big Los Angeles money, the money you never hear about, that that golf course is built on a fabulous oil well. 
And uh, it more, it, it, they make a lot of money off of it. So that when you buy in, I think it's a million dollars for a, uh, even and when you can't even get in, so don't even try, because it's uh, it's only by uh, death that you can get in. You gotta, it's, they're given in wills the memberships, but they're actually doing the uh, the British or the U.S. Open there this year, I believe. So uh, if you get a, get a chance, just that, that whether you like golf or not, you get a chance to see some of the country club. It's it's really spectacular because as you drive down Wilshire Boulevard, all you see is big trees, and it's on the other side of that is the, uh, uh, you know, that's uh, pretty much uh, what's going on. That's another place is that Bohemian Grove in uh, San Francisco is also uh, really, uh, really very, very famous. But I believe, and I'm not sure, I believe the uh, L.A. Country Club is a little bit bigger, but who knows, you know. <laughs> the Pinnacle Peak in Tucson, Arizona. Do you know, you know, Duffy, I've lived here 23 years, and I have never been to the Pinnacle Peak Steakhouse, and I love steak. Uh, if you go to Pinnacle Peak, uh, Pinnacle Peak Steakhouse, you wear a tie. The first thing they do is they cut the tie off, and they've got them hanging all over. That's the whole ambiance of the thing, but I've never uh, eaten there in all the years that I've been at Tucson. Why, I don't know. And uh, we'll see. No, it's not the Riviera. The Riviera is over near the Pacific uh, uh, Palisade. So uh, the Riviera is uh, really a totally different one. That's where the movie star people go, the Beverly Hills Country Club and the Riviera Country Club go there. Uh, but uh, not not at the L.A. Country Club. The L.A. Country Club, that's the judges and uh Whatever, whatever. Let's get on to something else. This brings back memory lane for sure. I used to deliver. I used to deliver Cougarans to the uh, uh, Los Angeles Country Club. There was two judges there that uh, I delivered uh, Cougarans to uh, uh, all the time. And about every two months, they would buy fifty to a hundred Cougarans, and I would take them into the uh, into the club. And believe me, I couldn't get past the entrance. They had to have someone come in and have me wait in a private room, and then the judge would come in and, uh, you know, you know, pay me the money and collect the thing. So uh, it's really an exclusive place. But anyway, they wouldn't accept my uh, my application, mainly because I was about uh, $1,200,000 short of entrance fee, but who cares. All right, let's move on here to the next one. Uh, I think we have a break coming up. No one ever tells me if we have a break, so I just keep talking. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN show 
shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex. Up next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and I would like to uh, put up this chart of the Dow Jones that shows the gaps, the one we had at 2000. Uh, back on January the 7th, you notice the market gapped above uh, 20,000 uh, on the uh, 26th. We ran up a little bit higher, and then we, we sold off in that massive collapse of the market of 300 points over uh, a, a four-day period. And then, of course, we had the uh, moonshot that took us up here. You'll notice that there, the, there's a couple of gaps here, but the one that's really important is the one that occurred uh, on the uh, uh, 13th. Uh, that's the uh, that's the one where the market gapped up and left a pretty substantial gap, and that one will be filled. So we're trading at around uh, 20,500 and change. So we're going to get down to that area. So we're going to get at least a 300 point uh, correction here in the Dow uh, sometime in my lifetime. Uh, as we get closer to that point, I'll give you some better timing, but. Uh, right now, that would be the first spot that I would think you'd be looking. Anything below that uh, means you're probably going to go down and start to fill, you know, some of the other gaps uh, that are there also. So uh, gaps are just, uh, they're filled in those Dow Jones. I mean, just go back and historically look at it, and it, it's really quite amazing. Uh, one other thing that happened this week that is relatively important, and that is uh, if we take a look at the uh, Dow Jones Transportation Index, You'll see here that the, uh, a, the ABCD pattern in the Dow Jones Transportation Index hit exactly up, up perfectly at 9570. Uh, we've backed off about 100 points uh, from that level. So there's a potential for that, uh, that to also be uh, an ABCD pattern that could signal, you know, a pretty uh, serious top. Now, the utilities, of course, because of the weakness in the bond, uh, you know, we'll see what... Uh, See what's going on. Okay, now let's move on here to the U.S. dollar, and we'll talk about that for just a second because I think we're, uh, you know, the U.S. dollar has had one heck of a, a run to the upside, and now we're starting to back off a little bit uh, from this level. And I wanted to get this in front of you. Here it is right here, I believe. I think so. Yep, there we go. Uh, this one has been uh, basically when we look at the U.S. dollar, we use the euro as the way to look at it because it's 50% uh, of the U.S. dollar index. And as you can see here, we went up to a 50% retracement a couple of days ago, and now we've backed off. In fact, we left a, a gap down uh, yesterday, and that is a, a very unusual uh, occurrence in itself. But the euro needs to get above the uh, 107.30 level. Now, well, it really needs to get above 108.30, but 107.30 would be a pretty substantial uh, move above the 78% level. And if this is correct, and we have a potential for an ABCD down here in the dollar index, you came down to the old highs. You can see that. We hit it exactly perfectly, which was a 61% retracement. Then you rallied for 10 days, basically two weeks, took you exactly to the 50% level. That sets up. Uh, a perfect ABCD structure from 104 
down to 99, and it's very simple. You just go to 10150, you subtract 5 from that, and where does it take you? It takes you right down here to the old 9550 level. So, uh, no, excuse me, not 9550, let me see, 5. Yeah, 9650 level is what you'd be looking at, which would be very close to the election night low that we made. <clears throat> now, as the devil's advocate, should the euro weaken up and the dollar strengthen, now if we get above that 102 level, you're looking at some really strong strength in the U.S. dollar. Now, I know there's a lot of talk going on about trade and all this other stuff. And believe me, folks, if you listen to the news, boy, you're, uh, you're, my hat's off to you because, uh, frankly, it's difficult to uh, see how any of these things move within the uh, – within the time frame of all the news that's going on. You never know what they're saying and whether it's true or not. And when one person says something, there's three other people, and then there's all kinds of false news uh, everywhere. And believe me, I you know, I can see that, you know, everywhere of uh, what we're looking. So we'll see, you know, what's going uh, on. I, you know, we, when they're talking about tax reform, no one expected tax reform to be easy. Folks, the easiest thing we could do, our country would be probably make the Dow go to 50,000 would be to go to a flat tax where everybody, corporations, personal people, uh, pay a certain amount of tax based on what your income is. If it's a flat out rate, there's no deductions, no nothing, just a flat tax rate. So if you're consuming stuff, you're paying a tax on it. And that's basically, you know, the bottom line. I, I've always liked that. That was Steve Forbes, I think, was the first guy to uh, talk about that. Uh, could have been someone before him, but I really thought the flat tax would, you know, really get over a bite. We used to often think that the, 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 the uh, IRS of regulations is 27,000 pages. Billy Ray, are you kidding me? 27,000 pages? That's like Nancy Pelosi saying, we better pass this thing so we can see what's in it. You know, give me a break. That's the main thing. Hong Kong uses a flat flat rate and tax and uh, their uh, tax rates in Hong Kong and it's very successful. So uh, maybe we should send someone over to Hong Kong. It's 16 percent. Boy, that's a, that's pretty good. I don't think Hong Kong has 27,000 lawyers, but I know we have 20 times per person the number of lawyers that they have in Germany, uh, whatever that means. Uh, we're talking a little bit about wheat here for a second. Um, wheat is in a real interesting spot here, folks. If we take here uh, this long-term weekly chart. Uh, in the wheat market, I happen to be involved in these things, so I'm watching them real closely. Uh, we had this lunar eclipse the other day back on the uh, 10th and 11th. Uh, lunar eclipse and, and the full moon. The market went about a penny or so higher uh, the next day and is now uh, reversed. We've had a pretty good sell-off in the soybeans and soybean oil and some of the others. But uh, this is going to be interesting because if we can uh, back off a little bit here uh, in the wheat over the next couple of weeks, uh, say down to the uh, 405 uh, bushel level, that would be a very interesting spot uh, to watch wheat because if we can turn and get above this last high that we made, we could be looking at a substantial uh, substantial move. Now, these lunar eclipses last, uh, for from timing purposes, that last from anywhere from two to six weeks. And so we're only in the, fir this, the really the first week of this. So pay attention to this wheat market. I know Mr. Z in the room follows it very closely. Uh, this is Chicago soft bread, uh, and it is uh, not like Kansas City, so there's totally, totally different. <clears throat> and then we'll, we'll see, uh, see how some of these things uh, move, uh, move a little bit higher. Okay, we almost got another break coming up in here. Let me do one thing. Oh, one of, let's just to show you here one other thing, uh, uh, why this is important. Let me just give you a spot-on thing here about this euro. Someone's asked me. You'll see here that we've uh, we got we got down right to the exact bottom 105, uh, 26 was the low. Uh, we rallied up to 106.70 and change. Uh, I'm trying to buy uh, buy some on a pullback at 103.20. That's a 382 retracement uh, of that move. Hold on, my my alerts are going off, and uh, that is to tell me that uh, almost filled and something, but not quite. Let's just give me a second. Bear with me or something, folks. I got to do a little busy work, otherwise I'm going to be going to be angry with myself for not having. Uh
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, we want to uh, remind you that uh, it's going to be a holiday on Monday. Key prices to watch uh, if we get below, uh, which is highly un 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 unbelievable that we could, but if we get below 23.32, that would be a very negative sign because we've made our price objective on the big ABC and the S&P at the 23.40 level, the high being 23.51. And then if we reverse and go back below that again, that would be a very, very negative sign uh, for coming in Monday. And as you recall, uh, we talked about Stan Harley's letter today. He was looking for a top early next week, and early next week with the holiday uh, coming in will be uh, on Tuesday, so uh, we'll be watching it closely uh, for Tuesday's action. Uh, the price of, this, of the gold, if you're long the gold, I would put a protective stop at 1236. I would leave that running until you to get stopped out or it breaks out, and uh, that's what I would be uh, kind of watching. If you happen to be in the silver, I would look at that at 1780 in the euro. Your stop should be below the 10610 level. Uh, that would protect at least a thousand dollar profit for you uh, in the uh, silver. Well, I've got 16 in gold, but you know whether that's going to end up that way or not. You know we don't know for sure. But uh, got a lot of time in these markets, folks. We've had a lot of excitement, a lot of news getting up in the air, and this is how these things end. So we have to be ready. Uh, Come Tuesday, it'll be very interesting to see how some of these things uh, certainly unfold as we uh, get ready to get into the middle of uh, February. 
I certainly hope that that's the right case to do, but we'll notice from there whether it's going to be right or not. Believe it or not, I, I don't know if anybody heard me or not. Uh, a broadsword to Danny Boy. Did anybody hear me? I don't know if I had a connection or not. Uh, 10 4, 10 4. Okay, thank you, folks. The chicken is in the pot, the eagle has landed. Everybody have a wonderful day. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless the words of Anthony Robbins. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.